Love it. How are you? This I'm doing fine. This is Ella calling you for your appointment. Yes. 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 I knew I was. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you for having me call you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for reaching yeah. out to me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. It has been so crazy, Mama Ella. It has been crazy. Yeah, because um, I just got out of meditation, and what your spirit guy said to me, well, my spirit actually came and spoke to me about you first, and they said, you know what, that girl that you, the, the lady or the sister, whoever, however you want to call it, you know, um, the next person that you speak to, tell her there's lots of golden doors that are basically at her side but you have to open your eyes to see it you have to acknowledge the opportunities that lie you know how sometimes you're too busy to accept or you're too busy to um acknowledge what's in front of you and sometimes you tend to miss out on opportunities and vice versa or rather even with relationships it's like you deal with a man or whatnot and the man is not really what you want, but he is the one for you. Yeah, that's what they're basic. That's what my spirit basically said about you. Where there's a lot of golden doors, and I never got the analogy of golden doors. Like, what do you mean by golden doors? And when they say golden doors, they're saying, listen, there will be some opportunities coming her way, and it could be different ones. Uh, it could be relationships. It can be um financial uh you know uh business wise it could be spiritual uh uh elevation there's different things that's going to come your way however your eyes or your pineal gland or your awakening or your awareness you have to be aware in order for you to acknowledge or you know accept that these things are coming for you and i'm going to allow you to express yourself but these are the messages that's coming through uh, now. And then another thing, the, co uh, the color that's coming up right now is the color purple. And they're speaking to me about intuition, higher consciousness, and meditation. Basically coming into a form of peace and tranquility only for you to see the way. I see two little, like, um, ain't you have children? I have grandchildren. Oh, those is your child, your grandchildren then. Those two children, well, I see young children that are walking with you um, on a path. And I guess they're saying the path of consciousness or rather the, the path of healing or new beginnings. And your grandchildren are actually with you. So I'm feeling like more so this is like being free, being joyful, you know, basically interacting with your childlike energy is what they're saying. Because let me tell you something, if you don't accept the steps in order for you to get to the future, then how can you get to the future? You just steady waiting on something to happen instead of acknowledging what's, you know, acknowledging the process and acknowledging the steps to go there. So embrace everything as a whole is what they're saying. And listen, if you're if you're constantly and you know I don't know why and again I'm gonna allow you to express yourself I don't know why they keep telling me for you to be patient and you know just enjoy everything that's coming and you know there will be different opportunities she just has to open her eyes to witness it or rather open her eyes to uh you know acknowledge what's going on but again your grandchildren as you just confirmed they're with you. And it's sort of like, you know, they're walking with you in this path of consciousness or higher learning or rather elevation or new beginnings. When's your birthday? November 6, 1970. Oh, November 6. So you're Scorpio. Yes. Yeah, so we're dealing with definitely higher consciousness. Definitely dealing with, uh, you know, family. They go the family. They go the children that came through. And then business-wise, too, you're a very good business uh, person. So if you're... If, that was one of the questions that you had for me. They're saying, listen, tell her to be patient or rather create your own job. Um, if that was the question, create your own job and stop just worrying, 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 worrying. Because, again, you're going to block yourself from receiving your blessings, my love. Again, I see I see uh, golden doors and it's showing me three, three golden doors. Ooh, okay, so they're speaking to me about health, money and spirituality so health money 
and spirituality. So those are the three main things that you should begin to focus on. Health, money, and spirituality. Activating your, you know, or rather getting into meditation because you are Scorpio. So we're dealing with the water signs. We're dealing with occult signs. We're dealing with going in deep. You know, sometimes some, you know, um, well, not sometimes, some scorpions, y'all go in. You guys go deep. You guys want to get to the bottom line of a lot of things. So guess yeah, what? Get get to the bottom line of yourself. Get to the bottom line of who you are. Get to the bottom line of where the problem started so that you can understand and know how to heal yourself from things. And another thing that they're saying, tell her not to be attached to many different things. And I feel like there might be saying, you know, sometimes people may come to you with their problems and their issues and then you tend to pick up on their particular issues and problems too. Instead of you trying to nurse somebody else, you should begin to nurse yourself. Instead of giving your energy to other people, you need to give your energy to someone uh, to yourself. And that's, that's one aspect when dealing with spirituality. Tell her it's all about self. It's all about healing. It's all about going within, going deep within in order for her to release all of the emotion emotional poison that has been resonating inside of her and then one thing for sure my love your spirit guys is going to tell me things about you that happened in the past present future so it might it might have been things or it might have been situations where you haven't fully came into closure with okay that is still opening up like a womb so again you are yeah. you are your only healer you and you are actually a healer because you're a scorpio let me tell you something one of my my best friend I call her Lisa Love. She nurses me, you know, at times when, you know, my, you know, I tend to get off the hinges because we all do. It happens, you know. But a Scorpio, I will always say a Scorpio is always uh, my match. And that's just me personally speaking, you know, from experience. Scorpions is my match in terms of healing-wise and being able to understand or overstand people and being sensitive that's what they're saying, and being sensitive to other people. But again, my love, you need to be sensitive to yourself. This is the time now. Again, this is 2006. As they will say, we're dealing with the number nine. So we're dealing with closing out the old so you can begin the new. And that's where I guess the three doors, where the, the, the golden doors, meaning the, a golden age for you, um, lies in with those three particular categories and then money why stress about money if you can just activate it or attract money into your vortex why and why stress about money if you can just align yourself with that reality why stress about money if you know you can create your own job and be who you want to be and be who you were set to be and be you know and get into that childlike spirit and then with the health give me a second Give me a second. Why did why they speaking to me about health? Have you did you used to get swelling? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Give me a second. Let's see what they talking about. Um, I guess more water intake. Um, re removing of uh salt and sugar and getting more on a plant based diet. So that she can be calm and cool is what they're saying. Tell her to calm and cool herself. You want to get you some cucumber and parsley juice. Okay, those two combined is what your spirit guys is recommending you uh, for you. Uh, so again, cucumber and parsley. Cucumber, it's just like a refreshing to cleanse. You know, replenish the body and the cells. And then parsley for some reason, I don't know why. But those two combinations will work well with you. Um, in terms of internal cleansing. So I guess they're giving you the, a small little recommendation so that you you know how some people when they say green juice, you know, they you turn your, your head, oh, it's going to be nasty, oh, you know, all of that, you know, all of that stuff. But uh, that that's a fair, that's a fair combination right there. You know, the, um, the, the cucumber and the parsley is not going to be nasty because I have cucumber juice all the time. It's very neutral. And then parsley, you know, it doesn't really have a bitter taste. Um, but they are dealing with reversing the blood cells and cleansing out the blood. And, you know, just providing more oxygen to you. So, again, you want to um, 
be more on a plant-based diet is what they're saying, you know, so that the cerebral or the mind or the brain can be, you know, can be clear because there's some fogginess going on there too because they're saying as above, so below. So you have to believe, not have to, but what you should do is approach your transition and approach who you are holistically, mind, body, and soul-wise. So you're dealing with the, okay, so this is where I see this three doors coming in at. All right, that's great. Um, So you have to approach this holistically. So you got the spirit and then you have the, you know, the finances, the career going in, and then you have the health. But in order for you to be successful, your health got to be right, you know. And if the health ain't right, then how are you going to be able to sit down and meditate? Because you're going to be so agitated and you not your, your nerves, you know, you won't be able to sit down and you won't be able to be calm because guess what? You're, you're, health, you're not healthy in a sense. And I'm not saying that you're unhealthy, but I'm just saying to approach what you're doing holistically um, okay, is okay. what they're saying. Say that again. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I well, then. I have the inflammation. I am a breast cancer survivor. Mm. I've had issues with blood uh, and blood clots in the past. Okay. I uh, do take some um, daily medications and stuff. So mm. that um, that is very true. And I actually bought a cleanse last week, a detox tea that I was supposed to start taking. Mm. So. Yeah. Well, listen, little by little, little by little, be patient. You know, um, I always say to my clients, your state where you, where, what you have done to you, um, where you have came, or rather your state where you, your recent current state where you're at now did not happen overnight. So the reverse process is not going to happen overnight. You're going to have to unteach yourself what you already have taught yourself or, or you're already programmed to do. So it's more so like a reversing cycle, reversing thing. And then, too, watch who you be around, watch who you entertain, uh, watch who you give your energy to, watch what you're watching, watch what you're eating, watch what you're, you have to be now more conscious about certain things in order for you to, you know, make this 360 shift. Um, it's okay. what your spirit guys is saying. Okay. Mhm. You have any questions? Okay. Would you like to express yeah. yourself? Uh huh. Yeah, you went deep on some of the things that I had listed that I didn't want to bring up, but one in particular um, is the environment that I have been hurt. Mm-hmm. Uh, tears are coming down my eyes. I have been hurt. Mm-hmm. And uh, I have struggled with trying to let all this go, and, and sometimes I do feel like some of those emotions and hurt and pain have caused some of the health issues, some of the mm-hmm. anguish and not being able to think clearly and stay calm. I'm, I'm agitated and, you know, kind of on edge, and I really thank you for sharing that with me on the things that I need mm-hmm. to do for myself. Mm-hmm. Um Regarding a man that I was dealing with two years ago, it ended bad a year ago. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've done some things I should not have done. I've done some things me and my sister should not have said. Mm-hmm. But he hurt me. Mm-hmm. He betrayed me. I felt like he took advantage of me. Now, he met another, another female. Mm-hmm. And the friend of this new friend, female that he's been dealing with has come at me, attacked me, slandered my name, humiliated me all on Facebook. She oh, I remember I, your email. Yeah, you sent me that email. Yeah, so, oh, you're the sister. Yeah. Oh, you, you contacted me a while back. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And mm-hmm. it's been a struggle. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I... A couple of months ago, uh, my vehicle just all of a sudden, motor goes out. I'm driving my vehicle. It just drove it the day before. I want to know if this girl, Laquita Hume, tampered with my vehicle, causing, you know, the problem that it, that happened, or if she had someone do it, what do I need to do to get past this? 
Well, the first thing that you need, I'm I'm going to tell you, the first thing that you should do to get past this is not agree that she has done anything to you. The main fact that you are giving it any type of energy, that's when it becomes real. Now, if you don't give it any energy, okay, it may not be, it may be a situation, let, hear me out, it may be a situation that, you know, she might have, because you don't know, she might have did what she did. But if you agree, like, yes, she's the one who did it, I know she did it, blah, 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 then the energy or then it enhances whatever it is that she did. So now, say she just did one thing, if you agree to it, now whatever else that she plans to do will also happen. I personally um, feel that in order for anybody to do anything to you, you have to agree to that. You have to accept the fact that this person did something to you. Or even if somebody did something to you, I, I will not allow anyone to take advantage of me. I will not allow anyone to do any harm to me. Whoever did this harm, shall it shall go back to them. You got to pray. You got to put it in the universe. Listen, whoever did this harm, send it back to the sender a thousand times more. <clears throat> you get what I'm saying? Because you can't yeah. keep playing this game. <clears throat> you can't play this game whatsoever. Um, I don't feel like she's that powerful enough. Um, she might have gone to a reader. Yes, I do see that she might have gone to a reader. And you go you're going to a reader yourself. Um, but I I don't believe and this is just what I'm picking up, I don't believe that she has that much power. I do believe that she is envious of you. I do believe, uh, well, what I'm picking up is she, you know, she does have something against you. But I don't believe that she has that much power to do what it is that she did to you. Now, energy is real. You get what I'm saying? Negative energy is real. Uh, black magic is real. And when I say about black magic, I'm just speaking about the words that people say against other people which is black magic, and that's why I said, if you agree, say for example, the girl, whoever, Laquita, whoever you said, says this about you, oh, such and such, she's ugly, she's ugly, that is a spell that has been cast upon you, now guess what, if you agree to this spell that has been cast upon you, that's when it becomes real, if you be like, well, no, it's, no, I'm not, no, you cannot do this, no, I am not your slave, no, I am not into psychic attack. If you reverse that, guess what? How can it how can it affect you? How can it come into your vortex? How? How? It's how to it. Only if you and believe if I it. Accept it and agree with it. Mm -hmm. How? How? You know, you just have to explain. And then too, you know, because I also deal with a lot of Haitian spiritual um practice, you know, people and um I deal with people that also do bad things to other people and one of the main things that my friend told me that makes sense is that people come to him all the time and tell him, yo, you know, this person did this, this person did that, this person. And then he says to them, well, prove to me first, before I do anything back to them, you have to prove to me that this person did that. If you cannot prove it, then you are assuming. And if you are assuming, you're putting yourself into psychological distress. Being honest, being honest because it's an assumption. And after the assumption, because what happens is the human mind wants answers. You want answers. You want to know why this is happening, who is doing this, and what's the first thing that comes up? Your enemy. And this person may not even be thinking about you, but you're assuming. So what it is that you're doing is, as as as, as a result of your internal vibration, you know, which is resonating on a lower frequency. Guess what? You tend to put it out there that this person is doing something to me. And if this person is in tune, she might even pick up something like, why is this person thinking about me? Or why am I feeling some type of way because of this person? So it's just a it's just a whole connection and a whole cycle that has to be broken. Forget that man. Forget the girl. Let that, you know, let it go. 
it happens and it's easier said than done i do understand that i know you are in pain but guess what you learned a very valuable lesson and i always say that when you are in a state of pain and when you are in a state of sadness that is when you are at your highest potential how because now you have these talks with yourself in terms of okay what do i desire what it is that i what is it that i really want out of my life what is it that i will not put up with you see because now i'm hurt now i'm not trying to let you know now i want the best for myself but if you want it good for yourself or if everything was going good you don't have these standards because everything is going accordingly but these are the best times for you my love this is this is the best time to get into your soul this is the best time for you to you know um activate your your chakras this is the best time to cleanse a pure a purifying uh age for you a stage for you okay yeah it happened a year ago or whatnot but it's still fairly new um in a sense i'm gonna keep it real be honest because you know a year goes by so quickly and you haven't fully healed yourself from it so this is your time now and that's why i see the three golden doors it's like a golden age you know getting into a new cycle of your life it's okay it happens i don't care if you're 50 60 70 80 20 years old if we haven't learned lessons about love, guess what? Or relationships, guess what? The universe is going to have to teach you one way or the other. It don't matter how old you are. Okay. And guess what? What goes around comes around. So if that man that you was dealing with is a user, let the universe deal with him. Okay. He going to learn. She going to learn too. <laughs> he going to okay. learn and okay. she going to learn too. None of your is does not concern you. Okay. Mhm. Mm okay, my love. Wow. Do you have other questions? Oh my goodness, I can't <laughs> right now. I mean, you go so deep and hit so many, so many valuable, you know, areas. Mm -hmm. You know, in my life, yeah. Okay. I I I I would okay. recommend that you start with the three main uh objects, or rather, three main uh categories that the spirit realm have recommended you, which was health, uh, money, and spirituality. Um, just start with that, and let me tell you, be patient with yourself, little by little, little by little, little by little, little by little, and accept and embrace the steps that you are taking to reach your ultimate goal and guess what think about it like this you're preparing yourself for your your king you know you're preparing yourself to be the best that you can be and you want someone else that is the best that he can be so therefore guess what you're in preparation now to meet this person that will be with perfect alignment with yourself that's it okay Okay. Um, and I uh, mentioned something about my daughter. Mm hmm One is here with me. Mm hmm And uh, she, uh, she has been having some struggles. She has and what? She has been having some struggles. And she's with me. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like I said a minute ago, agitated the hurt, you know, dealing with a lot of stuff on my nerves is, not bad, but they're sure they used to be. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to know about her and, you know, maybe doors opening for her when she needs to get her own place. She, she got to she gotta work. She has to she has to take action that's what that's what it is with this this one she can't you know sit around and just think that things is going to come to her she has to take full action let me tell you there's one thing about having a dream but the action part is the best part of manifesting that dream to the extent that she takes action is to the extent that her reality will change that's what it, that's what i'm seeing right here it, that that okay. you, you, the main oh is things gonna change yeah once she takes the action to change it yeah, yeah. okay she's she's gonna be okay. all right she's just she just has to take the steps she just has to take the action okay, mm -hmm. okay. 
Because that's been one thing that has been bothering me, too. I'm used to my own little territory and space. Right, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Perhaps you, you, uh, when you get a chance, you should invest in a floor wash. Contact me when you're ready, um, and I'll prepare a floor wash for you. Um, to bring to okay. just cleanse the place out, bring about prosperity, abundance, just cleansiness, you know, just to make the place feel a little lighter so that, you know, the the energy can be right. Um, okay. that's that's what I definitely will recommend for you at this time where you're going through things and then you, you have your daughter or as well that is also going through, you know, um some difficult times so cleanse out the house floor wash that place up and then allow the universe to take its place okay so um what would your rate be well not rate how much would the floor wash be i charge forty dollars for the floor floor wash um Okay. It'll be forty dollars, and then but with shipping and handling, I guess it's like what seven ninety five. Yeah, seven ninety five. So forty seven ninety five. Yeah, forty seven ninety five. Um, and then the same way you pay for this reading will be the same way you pay for the floor wash, and I'll prepare that for you. Okay, I can get that done and um, yeah. get the be ball good roll and get everything started. Yeah, yeah, that'll be good for you. Yeah. yeah, like at least once a week, you know, um, I'll make enough that you can at least you know wash your floors for at least a month. You know, just add it okay. to the you know add it to the. Uh, well, I'll I'll let your spirit guys tell me how to do it. So you know. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Yes. Sure, thank you. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, my love. So okay. if this session has been recorded as usual. Would you like it to be private or uh, public? It's been nice to stay private. Okay. So I'll upload it and I will send it to you as soon as possible. Okay, thank you. I wasn't expecting that. That's good. Yeah, so you can, yeah, definitely. And, again, I'm going to upload it on YouTube, but it's not going to be public on YouTube. It's going to be private on YouTube. You know, some of my clients like, oh, I asked you to do it private and it's on YouTube. Well, I have to upload it on YouTube in order for me to send it to you. So it's going to be private, but it's going to be uploaded on YouTube, okay? Okay. Thank you, and that would be so good so yes. I can go back and, you know, hear it again. Right. And, you know, I was trying to write, write along with you as you were saying things, so yeah. if I missed anything, I can go back and, and listen to it again. So listen, that, that's wonderful. And listen yeah. to my v- words and listen to the vibration, oh. and every time you listen, you hear, you know, what I say, you're going to get another meaning, and you're gonna, you might cry. It's okay. It happens. Okay. Okay, my love. Okay. Okay, Sounds beloved. So good. Yes. I will be in touch. Thank you so much. Same to you, beloved. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.